Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be a very fun, flirty, and wearable holiday look that can be punched up with a bright lip. It's a little urban, a little chic, and it photographs really subtle and beautifully. So we're going to get started on all the skincare, which I've already gotten a start on, and I filled in my brows. We're going to take the Kat Von D Monarch palette. We're going to start off with Killing Jar in the crease, which is a nice soft natural taupe color that will just create sort of a shadow, a nuance on the lid. We're just going to blend that out very softly using the Real Techniques blending base brush and then just blend it out in the corner. Next up we're going to be taking a little bit of shadow box and this is a shimmery nut brown. We're going to be blending this in the very outer corner of the eye two, three quarters of the outer corner of the eye, and then the actual crease will have a little bit. Next up, we're going to be taking a little bit of this nice sort of warm rose gold color. This rose gold color is one of my favorites in the palette, and it's called Vanish. We're going to take Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Eyeliner in Feathered, and of course the Physician's Formula Liquid Eyeliner Pen, which I don't care for. I have honestly stopped using it. It's dried out and I really only used it five times so I don't recommend it but it's a great eyeliner for today's tutorial which is urban and kind of chic and the eyeliner is not super strong. You could also do this look with a gel liner that will probably come out really well as well since you have more control over a gel liner brush and just kind of blend it out with your finger a little bit it doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to be taking the Too Faced Four in this way foundation in vanilla and vanilla is a nice soft, creamy, kind of a yellow-based color, and I use this to neutralize my pinkish skin tone. And in all honesty, I should have a pinker foundation at that, but this is what was available on Sephora.com. I'm going to be taking the Cover Effects Cream Concealer Stick and blending this above my eyebrow just to clean up the brow, and underneath the eye, the outer corner of the eye, to clean up all that shadow, because today we're actually not going to be taking makeup remover on the outer corner of the eye. I don't want the lines to be crisp. I want them to be very urban and a little blended. For underneath the eye, I'm going to be taking a little bit more of that fun, shadowy, soft brown, which is Killing Jar, and we're going to create a nuance under the eye. And then back into Shadow Box, which will be placed in the outer corner of the eye. You could pick this up with a pencil brush or a flat, stiff shader brush. Next, I'm going to be taking the Physician's Formula BB Mascara, and this really amps up the lashes to another level. It's gorgeous mascara. And then the Ardell Glamour Lashes in 105. These are very long and soft and give you a lot of length, but with a natural density. So they look really soft, yet flirty. And then I'm going to clean up the lash line on the upper bed so that you don't see any glue. And then I'm going to be doing a winged liner underneath the eye. And this is where this pen comes in handy, otherwise it's not really a great product. We're just going to be doing a very soft uh, double winged liner on the under corner of the eye. And it really makes the eyes look big and pop. You don't want this line to be harsh or 270s, you want it to be really subtle and with a little flick on the outer corner. Next up, I'm going to be taking the Physician's Formula Nude Wear, found, uh, not foundation, this is the Nude Wear Touch of Glow palette in light. And we're going to create a soft uh, little shadowing trick here. My new favorite trick. It almost makes the face look like a charcoal painting. And it brings it to life. We're going to be contouring and highlighting with this palette. And it creates a nice soft mineral look. We're going to be taking the Hourglass Mood Exposure Blush from the Ambient Lighting Collection and just fluff that on with an angled brush. This one happens to be from Sigma. And I want it to be very precise and yet the blush be very subdued. I do smile a bit when I'm applying it because, hey, when you smile, your insides feel a little bit happy and there's nothing wrong with that. Just don't over smile because when you do stop smiling, your face can drop. I'm taking the Wet n Wild Fair Trade Coffee Bronzer and Highlighter and finishing up. For hair, we flat ironed the hair because it's just kind of out of control. I'm taking this Kusun cap, which was actually designed for chemo patients, but I think it makes a really nice hat for the winter and it stays on beautifully. It's very snug and so cute and it kind of drops in the back. I love it and I'll be getting more of them. I'm going to be taking my hair now and popping it into a fishtail braid just so it's in control. It's very humid out here and I really need control with my, with my hair being so big and curly and honestly needing a haircut. 
The shirt I'm wearing is a Pico shirt, and actually it's a dress, and it has pockets, and it's in the shade Wine. I love it, and I wish it came in more colors, and I wish I had them all. And I'm just going to pancake my braid. Putting on my favorite earrings that I got in New Orleans from a really cute store that I've never seen before. <laughs> and that's it for today's look. I hope you enjoyed.